The proteins in our body that are formed from our DNA are responsible for the absorption, distribution, metabolism, and excretion of drugs. As we all have our own set of genes, we are all genetically different, and therefore, our bodies also differ in how we react to medicines. Factor II is a protein and part of the coagulation cascade, the process that creates and dissolves blood clots. The protein circulates in the bloodstream in an inactive form until the coagulation system is activated by an injury that damages the blood vessels. In response to an injury, Factor V is activated. After activation, this Factor V interacts with Factor X, activating it. The active forms of these two coagulation factors form a complex that converts the important coagulation protein prothrombin, also known as factor II, into the active thrombin. Thrombin, activated factor II, then promotes clot formation by stimulating the conversion of soluble fibrinogen to strands of fibrin, the primary protein that makes up blood clots. This, and a few other processes, results in the formation of blood clots and the damage to be repaired. A mutation in the factor 2 gene causes the gene to be overactive and leads to the production of too much prothrombin. An abundance of prothrombin leads to more thrombin, which promotes the formation of blood clots. The downside is that it may cause blood to clot too easily, and therefore there is a greater chance of thrombosis. We hope this video was of great help, and let us know if you have any questions.